Everyone's a cotton garden. Covent Garden is famous for street performers. You can see magicians, singers, actors, comedians, jugglers, unicyclists, everything here, any day of the week. Covent Garden is also home to the Apple Market, which has a really rich history. There's a couple of other markets near here too. You can find clothes, gifts, um, food, drinks, everything you could imagine. It's a really, really fun place to come and visit and shop. London's West End, which has been famous for decades for theatre and musicals. If you're here, you have to go and watch a show. The Lion King is extremely popular and has been on show here for decades. Because of how famous for the arts and creativity this area of London is, you can often find musicians busking and playing for money all around Covent Garden. Covent Garden really is filled with history. You can find the London Transport Museum here, where you can learn about our famous tube and double-decker red buses. You can find the London Film Museum, where they have an exhibition on Harry Potter and loads of other classic movies. There's so much to learn about here. so many different restaurants in Covent Garden. There's quick eats and sit down meals, little bakeries and fancy restaurants, a huge variety of places to eat and every single one is delicious. This is the Royal Opera House. It's a beautiful building where they show opera, ballet, dance, classical music. It's full of culture, as well as a really nice bar.
Mm -hmm. And this is the bar with amazing views of the whole Covent Garden. You can even see the London Eye. Or if you fancy a drink somewhere else, there are also plenty of traditional English pubs in Covent Garden. Like this one. Or this one. But the best thing about Covent Garden is that just around the corner you can find International House London. Leicester Square is famous for movie premieres. All the biggest celebrities from across the world come here to cinemas like this one for the first showing of their brand new films. Most weekends you can come here and spot famous actors and actresses. You can also find loads of street performers here. Singers, uh, magicians, comedians, a huge variety. For the best Chinese food in London, you have to come to the famous Chinatown. Home to tons of Chinese restaurants where you can get noodles, hot pots, dim sum and everything else you can imagine as well as lots of different Chinese soup markets full of different goodies. This is Trafalgar Square, one of the most iconic squares in London. This is the National Gallery, one of the biggest and most famous art galleries in London. It's located in Trafalgar Square and has art spanning all of history. You can find pieces from the Renaissance all the way through to modern times. The National Gallery has been home to paintings by Picasso, Monet, Van Gogh and many, many more world famous artists. Welcome to one of the most iconic views in London. This is Big Ben. But did you know that Big Ben isn't the name of the tower? Big Ben is the name of the bell inside the tower. And the tower itself is called the Elizabeth Tower. Next door, you'll find the Palace of Westminster. This is home to the House of Parliament, where the British government and parliament meet to discuss our laws and what's gonna to happen to our country. Just around the corner from the House of Parliament, you'll find Westminster Abbey. Westminster Abbey is the burial place of Stephen Hawking, Sir Isaac Newton, and various kings and queens from British history. It's also the place where royal weddings take place and the king and queen's coronations.